Hello, this is Jamerica with Jamerica Life, and today I'm gonna teach you how to do, take this. You see these growing? Those are slips, and turn them into this. Let's go ahead and pop these up, and I'll show you how I got it started. Good morning, this is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. And today we're gonna to talk about sweet potatoes and sweet potato slips. Go ahead and get a sweet potato, preferably one that is organic, see that? Now I put this in a jar and in order to get it to start really quick, I put some bananas on top of it because bananas put off a gas that make them, you know, ripen quicker or develop sprouts or put it with your onions and sure enough, you'll get some sprouts. Just saying, word to the wise. <laughs> so let's go into the greenhouse and look at the ones that I have started. I have them in various stages because I had some from last year. And the best way to preserve your sweet potatoes or any potatoes sometimes is to bury them. Just keep them a little cool and put them in some soil. They'll last longer. So I take the sweet potato ooh, and you can use any container. This is a great container, right? And what I did was I took a sweet potato just like this one, right? And I buried it halfway. So we take our sweet potato, right? You dig a trench, right? Not too deep, because we only want half of it. We want it to sit on top, basically. And you just surround it with soil. Midway. See those, see those sprouts? I'm not trying to cover that up. I could actually do it this way. Eh, they'll be all right. They will be okay. They will work their way out, right? And more slips will develop around this sweet potato, just like this one. See how simple that was? And all I do is I water that in. Every day I keep the soil moist until it starts doing this. And then it starts doing that. So we have it in and you can see the two little slips. That's, you don't have to wait till it develops this. You can put the sweet potato in there just bare with nothing and it will develop this eventually. You just keep on watering around it and eventually sprouts will start coming up all over the place. So we've got that planted. And if you put this in the sun, eventually it'll start looking like this one. Now, what you do is, these are all slips, right? And you can see that there's some starting right here, right there, see that? Where these little nodules are, develop roots. And look at that right there. You can tell that one is coming out of here and one is coming out of there. But what we wanna do is we wanna get enough of this in order to stick it into, into the water. So after I cut this, I get a bottle of water, right? And I just submerge, I submerge the stem. See that? I submerge the stem in the water. And voila, in two to three weeks, you'll have roots and then you just pot them Pot them up.
This is Jamerica. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And this is my video on planting sweet potatoes or making sweet potato slips so that you can plant them in the ground. You take those slips and you plant them in the ground once they get rooted in the soil. And you get more sweet potatoes. <laughs> this is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. I thank you guys for being with me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.